and welcome to The Beauty Shaman. So today I thought I would do a video on how to do smoky eyes. And one of the things that has prompted this is, of course, the mask wearing episode in the universe right now where we're all wearing masks. I've done a couple of videos really focusing more on my most recent videos, more focusing on your eyes because this is what really stands out. I've done a video also on how to make your makeup mask proof so it doesn't smudge. So be sure to check that out. I'll put that in the that corner, I think, of this video. In any case, um, I want to do even more just about eyes. Plus, uh, 2020 fall eyes are in. It's the smoky eye. It's the, um, the heavy duty liner. It's all these things, which can be, um, I guess, complex for older women to pull off as it can age us very quickly if we do uh, too much makeup, too heavy, right? Um, and I'm going to address this even further up Coming up here in the next few weeks, I'm going to do videos on Dolly Parton, doing Dolly Parton's makeup, because I feel like she wears a lot, but it looks really beautiful. So I really want to address this. I think I've really done a lot of videos on, um, you know, how to look, it looking very natural and, you know, less is more, that idea. So I thought, well, let's go with Dolly Parton, but Dolly Parton's is more is more. So, you know, I'm going to try that. Uh, but in this video, we're basically going to focus on how to do smoky eye. Um, the other thing I want to mention before we get started is that on Saturday, the 20th, 24th of October, 2020, I am doing a YouTube live um, uh, on my channel at The Beauty Shaman. So be sure to check that out and you can push the button to get an alert to remind you of it. Um, it's going to be 11 a.m. Mountain Time. Uh, just fix that into wherever you live. Um, and it's going to be an hour. And you, it's the AMAs. It's Ask Me Anything. I'm a, going to focus, though, on um, eyeliner, how to make your eyes really stand out with eyeliner, pencil, liquid, smoky eye, all those things and answer your questions. So be sure to check that out. Okay, before we get started on this video, hit the bell in the left corner in order to be alerted of any new videos I have coming up. Um, subscribe, very important, so I can continue making great content. And please don't forget to visit my website at thebeautyshaman.com. My store, my blog, all my info is there. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so my video would not be complete without a reference to the tea because tea is very important. I love tea. I'm a huge tea drinker. If you have a favorite tea, please write it down below. I'd love to hear about it. Today I am drinking a tea I've really gotten into. It's Organic India and it's Tulsi Sweet Rose. Um, Organic India is the brand. So it's the most delicious rose tea. Um, I just love rose tea. Sometimes you can take like um, rose petals and seep them in water and you can hot water and get that that rosy flavor and that's what it has so totally love it get your tea and then let's let's do some smoky eye so for starters we have to take care of our skin right um, skin is the largest organ in your body you got to take care of it um, take care of it on the inner with what you eat the oils the vitamins supplements all those things all have to do with your skin skin is not just something you take care of externally um, it is internal and external. I would say about 50, 60% is internal. Um, there's so much you can do by your diet and what you eat. Um, external, of course, is huge. And so I'm going to use my favorite skincare, which is um, Truth Treatment Skincare. I carry this on my website. Really love this brand. It's just so legit, so great. One of, it's got to be my favorite brand ever, which is why I carry it. I'm going to use the C Serum to start off with, which is two drops of serum. That's all you need. It's two drops. It's crazy. Um, and a little bit of hyaluronic mineral hydrator, two drops of that. That helps to keep the moisture into your skin if you have dry skin. And a little, two squirts of biomimetic mist. Um, and this helps the efficacy of the product so it really gets into your skin. Okay, now that my skin is like super happy, um, actually on that little break in the clip, I had to run upstairs and take my chicken out of the oven. It was um, causing some smoke to go up and set off all the fire alarms. Oy vey. Um, all right, so now that my skin looks really good and my chicken is out of the oven, it's not burnt by the way, I don't know why that happened. Um, let's move on. So we're gonna do a little bit of primer. So I'm gonna use the Jane Iredell Smooth Affair Primer. Um, really love this primer, it's just beautiful. Um, really helps keep your makeup on, especially with masks. You know, things slide off so quickly when they're rubbed like that, and this definitely helps to keep it on. And a little bit of foundation. So I'm going to use um, MAC Face and Body. So I really love this. It's, it's a wonderful one for older women because it's not super heavy. Um, I always go for like light to medium coverage foundations. So I'm going to apply it with my fingers. If you watch my videos, you know, when I make up myself, I use my hands. When I make up other people, I use... A sponge but not a beauty blender if you have a beauty blender give it a funeral 
<laughs> a little burn some incense, say goodbye to it. If you're over the age of 40, my opinion is you shouldn't use it. Um, really don't like those. I feel like they apply way too much product. Um, and we need product to be really much more sheer. Okay, so usually I go into concealer and powder, and I have a certain order that I kind of stick to when I make people up. Um, but today we're gonna we're gonna do a little divergence away from that, and we're gonna do eyes. Um, the reason is that I'm gonna have because I'm doing smoky eye, I'm gonna use a fair bit of eyeshadow, obviously, and usually that's gonna fall a little bit underneath your eye, so it's better to leave um, concealer um, until after and powder and all that stuff. So, but we're basically going to head straight into doing eyes. So to start off with, I want to make my eyes really matte. So right now they're kind of dewy. If you have oily lids, um, you know this story, right? You put eyeshadow on and it immediately creases up. It's like, it's like, oh, it's so irritating. So I'm going to use a little bit of Mac, um, painterly. This is, um, I think it's called painterly. It's long wear. Um, sorry. It looks like this. I'm going to use my finger. Um, this basically is kind of like an eye base, although you can buy eye bases. I actually have an eye base here. I have a Lorac eye base. Looks like that. Um, but I grabbed this one instead. No real reason for that. Um, I like the Lorac one a lot. Um, but I'm going to use this one. I just really want to matte it out. Plus, this has a little color to it. I think I like a little bit of that lighter color. Depends on your skin color and what you use here. All right, now I'm gonna fill in some eyebrows, my eyebrows. So I'm gonna use this color. I like to use eyeshadow. So this is called Concrete by MAC, and then I use it in conjunction with a slanted brush. If you don't have one of these, um, I think that's 226 by MAC. Um, the, the line I always use with liners is this one. Um, this is Moda brushes, I call them my disco brushes. That's a nice slanted brush, it comes in a set. So if you're looking for a set, go to Motor Brushes. Um, that's down below in the links. I always put the links down below, by the way. All right, so I'm gonna fill in my brows. Now I have a pretty good brow, so I'm basically just gonna take it from that uppermost point and I'm gonna just kind of fill it in. I really wanna bring it out a bit. And what that does is that opens your face up to, really, to get your brows a bit stronger. Now right now, strong brows are really in. You know, they're thick, they're strong, they're brushed up, they're standing out. And some of that is okay for older women. I think it's okay to sort of elongate. Um, I don't fill it in in here too much. Now, if you don't have a lot of hair right here, then I would say go ahead. I don't, because on me, then it looks like Groucho Marx. <laughs> so, you know, you got to figure out what works for you. Okay, so now I got my brows on. So my brows look, to me, they look a little overdone. Um, and the reason for that is that I don't have um, anything else on the rest of my face. In fact, I feel like they're kind of uneven, so let me fix that. Okay, so I'm gonna start with eyeliner. I'm not gonna start with like an eye color all over. I'm just gonna do an eyeliner. So I'm gonna use a bunch of Jane Iredale stuff today. Um, so I'm gonna use the Jane Iredale Smoky Quartz. This is called, is that right? Um, no, Dark Topaz, excuse me, Dark Topaz in the Mystical Eyeliner. Um, these are really cool. They come with a brush, um, an application brush. They're sort of like gel liners, right? They're, this is pretty. It has a little bit of iridescent. We're going to use that. And for my eyeshadow palette, I'm going to use this Jane Iredale palette called Daytime. Um, the One of the reasons I wanted to use this is because it's very, very basic. It's very simple. Um, and it also has a black. And we're going to need a little bit more color, I think, rather than just sticking with the browns. Um, so I'm going to use the black, and I love this nice, rich, warm brown. We're going to make great use of that. And these both are great crease colors, and I'll see which way I go with that. And then it's got, of course, some highlights. So, so I think this is great because it's very simple, and I think sometimes we think we have to get extra materials and buy new things in order to do smoky eye, and you, you don't really. It's, it's a pretty, it's pretty, it's not simple, but you can use pretty simple colors for it, okay? All right, so I'm going to start with the dark topaz. Um, and I am going to use one of my Disco brushes here from Moda um, because it's slanted. And I like to use these brushes. I like the length of the brush, so that's why I'm using this as opposed to the one that it comes with. So I just kind of tuck it in there, get a little bit of color on it. And I'm going to start at the outside edge here. Now, I'm not worried about this being exact because I'm going to really blend it. Okay. But these are really nice. They hold up really well. They blend well, but once they dry, they're on. So we have to blend this fairly quickly so that it doesn't come off. So that it, not that it comes off, that it, um, I can't talk. <laughs> Let's talk and chew gum at the same time. I want to be able to blend it. So you got to do it before it dries. How's that? There, it came out. I said it. Again, I'm not worried about this being perfect. 
or even doing a wing. I'm not too worried about any of that stuff. Just really want that thick line. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna use this brush. It's a pencil brush, same Moda Disco brushes here, and I'm gonna run this over the top. Because I just want this to blend. I just want it to really soften down. Because Smoky Eye is basically a lot of eye color, eye shadow, but blended. So you can see how I'm doing that. Like really blending that, isn't that pretty? I'm going to pull it up here a little bit, although that's going to be mostly with eyeshadow. See how nicely that's all blended? It looks good, huh? Let's do the other eye. Okay, so now we're going to just build on this. So one of the ways I build on that base is I'm going to use a an eyeliner in my in my waterline to make my eyes pop even more. Now I'm not going to use a brown. You can. You could use a black, a gray, whatever. I'm actually going to use a grape color, and this is Fenty. A liner by Fenty um, but you can use anything you want as long as I would say it's waterproof or water repellent otherwise it ends up down your face but I'm gonna put that right in my waterline and I like using this color because it brings out my eye color so if you have green eyes grape brings out green purple brings out green so you can take a nice purple and stick it in your there if you have blue eyes I would say get yourself a kind of a blue gray and put it in there or violet violet works amazingly well for blue eyes really to pop it and, and it's not super noticeable but it definitely like makes your eyes come out don't you think like isn't that like so cool all right so now i'm going to do a crease color um all right so for a crease i'm going to use this crease brush it's a bit loved <laughs> really loved all right now i'm going to start and i'm going to actually use the um this rosy color right here in my crease no now I'm going to use the brown. I'm going to change my mind here. Use kind of this taupey shade. And I'm going to go right in my crease. And we're just going to build on the crease and the outer edge. And I'm going to try to keep this part kind of clean and open. Now I have a good amount of space here. So I can really, you know, blend things up a little bit. If you don't have a lot of space, stick it more around your eye area. Okay, now we're going to use the brown in here, all right? So this is a, a lovely, rich, warm brown here in the daytime Jane Iredale palette. Blah, 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 blah. Let me have a sip of tea <laughs> since I can't talk today. And I'm going to use my pencil brush again here. And I'm going to dip it in that warm brown. And I'm going to add that to that outer edge and bring it up a little bit. Because I really want to concentrate it right in here. Right, see how much I did there? And then I'm gonna take that exact same pencil brush and color and I'm gonna pull it across. Just back over this area. Now one of the reasons why I do this, um, why I do a, a, a gel and then a shadow is the gel provides a lot of density. You can see how much more dense it is right next to my eye and that's what I want. But the smokiness comes from the eye shadow. And you just kinda of gotta work with it for a while. Get it to go where you want it to go. But isn't that pretty? And I could take it up. Like you can kind of play with it according to your eye shape. You just don't want it to look overdone. It's very easy for this look to, to look overdone. Just keep it away from your eyebrow. That's one of the key components. If it gets too close to your eyebrow, then, you know, you're back in the 80s and <laughs> everything's heavy duty and big and, you know, we're kind of a little bit more tailored now. Although I was modeling in the 80s and it was a fun time. I went to Studio 54 even. Did you ever do that? I would love to know how many of you went to Studio 54. I was totally overwhelmed by it personally, but I'm a little sensitive. So now I'm going to take the same color and my slanted brush and I'm going to dip it back into the brown and I'm going underneath. So this is where a lot of you have to be careful because it's very easy for you to go way too, way too dark underneath. And that's why I like using a thin brush because I'm just gonna get it right underneath my lashes, okay? And between my lashes, so it's really not a lot. The heavier that line underneath, the more your eye will pull down. And there was an era, I don't remember which one, where the eyeliner was super heavy and thick underneath. Uh, and that looked fine if you were like, you know, 12. But, you know, <laughs> as you get older, we get these 
circles and that just doesn't work on us anymore so see how i sort of just kept it to the outside and between the lashes very subtle on the rest of it really really nice okay i'm gonna do the other side okay so i've done both eyes and while i was doing this eye i had the most massive um hot flash <laughs> if you're still having hot flashes you can have a little chuckle with me i you know they happen and you just go woo hi in here um, okay, so both eyes are done, and I think this looks really pretty. It's nice and smoky. I am going to add to it, and I'm going to add my nice slanted disco brush here, and I'm going to put some of this black, which is more of a charcoal than a black right here, which I like. I think if you're fair-skinned, black can be a little hard. I've done some videos on how to wear black with more fair skin. The darker the skin you have, the more you can wear those really dramatic colors and, and you know, like real black and it's so much fun, right? But I think the lighter your skin, you have to kind of taper it and use more charcoal. Okay, so I'm gonna dip this in and I'm gonna go right, oops, I've been doing this side, I haven't I? Okay, so let's stick with this side. We're gonna go right next to the lashes. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more right in here, mostly on this outer edge, because I just wanna add just a tiny bit more. That's kind of cool, right? And then you can take it and use your pencil brush again. You know, getting a pencil brush is really awesome. I think these are really handy for blending next to your eye when you want just that kind of generic blend. You can also use your fingers to get rid of any lines that you don't like, so. I always use my hands. Okay, so now the last thing I'm gonna do, I can't talk, can I? I keep stammering. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna use this color here. So this is the nice iridescent little bit of a frost just a tiny bit of iridescent quality to that and i'm going to put it right on that brow bone just to give it a little bit more oomph up in here i'm also going to use this exact same color with my finger right here because we want to pop that middle part of your eye so we're going to just use this Okay, so I've done my eyes. Now I'm going to put on a little bit of mascara. So we're using Maybelline Great Lash, which is my go-to $5 mascara. Okay, so now I'm going to go and do some concealer because we've done our eyes, you know, everything that's going to fall and has fallen. So I'm going to use the um, Amazing Concealer, if you can see that. This is, I love this concealer so much. This is Medium Golden. I'm a big fan of Amazing Concealer. I do have links down below. Um, I think this concealer is just, it's incredible. You need such, like that's way too much. I just put on my hand. I'm used to putting out a lot more because I generally use this on lots of people. But it really um, doesn't set in fine lines, holds up beautifully. I mean, I'm, I'm such a fan. I might try to carry this because I like it so much, you know? When you like something that much, and I use a little bit of highlight right there. And I also pull it down around my nose. Look at that. Pretty awesome, huh? All right, I'm gonna use a little powder. So this is obviously busted up a bit. Um, I think I dropped it several times. This is um, Le Beige uh, by Chanel. Um, it's loved though. So this is just a lovely, very light, Okay, very light powder. Um, and now I'm gonna do some contour because you gotta wear contour. All right, and I'm gonna use um, the Bobbi Brown, sorry, it's a bit dirty, um, medium contour, looks like that. And I like this color because it kind of matches the color on my chest, if you can see, I'll set up a little bit. So you can see how red that is. I try to match my contour with that because that makes sense kind of in your whole, you know, people look at you. You want you want to make sense, right? You don't want to be like, yeah, I look like I'm insane. So, and I'm going to go right underneath my cheekbone. If you have a very thin face, I don't recommend doing very much of this at all. If you have a round face, stick it, put it more to the outer edge um, because that's going to help your face have a more shape to it. And don't go too close. I see many of you bring it way too close. You really want to keep this towards the outside. Okay, so I'm going to use, this is a new Jane Iredell product. This is, um, it's matte lip stick. So it's a cream that goes to a matte. And this is called Craving, which is really, really awesome. I'm actually going to start carrying these on my website. I don't know if 
it's going to be up by the time I do this video, but I just love this color. I've been wearing these, swear to you, every day, and I'm totally in love with them because I can put them on. Um, they don't come off of my mask, often on the mask for like, you know, six hours, and it still is on there, which for me is incredible because I lick my lips a lot. So I'm going to use this, and it's a really nice, just warm tone. Look at that. It's a neutral, actually. And it goes on so creamy. Ah, dries quickly. And I'm going to use a spice lip liner that is very, very loved. Okay, this dries really fast. So once it's dry, if you want to put a little chapstick on top of it, I have a little bit of lip balm. I have some Bobbi Brown um, lip balm here I'm going to put on as soon as it's dry. Um, before that, though, I want to do a little bit of blush. So I'm going to use Mocha. This is a Jane Iredale blush. I love this blush. It's great. Just kind of a neutrally tone. Matches the lipstick. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Just a little on the brow bone. It really pulls it together so nicely. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so this is my smoky eyed look, um, taking into account fall 2020 style um, and also the need that we have for matte lipstick so it doesn't come off on our mask, which is really, really important. You can also use a setting spray that helps to keep your makeup on so it doesn't come off on a mask. You can do that if you'd like. I'm not going to do that right now. But anyway, I think this is a really pretty look. It's a, it's it's smoky, but it's not too harsh. It doesn't have a lot of harsh lines, which is because of blending. So use your brushes. Um, you can also then plop on your mask and look at your eyeballs. Yay! Now you can flirt or, <laughs> or hopefully you can just go to a restaurant take off the mask and have a really nice time with whomever you're with. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. Please write any questions or comments you have down below. I always respond. Again, please join me Saturday morning at 11 o'clock for YouTube Live, where we are going to have question and answer of the AMAs, ask me anything when it comes to eyeliner. Um, I would love to have you there and meet you and uh, be able to answer your questions. Okay. Thank you so much for watching The Beauty Shaman.